Hey guys, it's Kristen with another Chance Resale. Welcome to my channel, I'm a full-time reseller. This video is a two-parter. So we're gonna be looking at some jewelry that I picked up at yard sales this past weekend. And also we are going to be opening a shopgoodwill.com jewelry auction lot that I won. Um, I won two or three of them and I don't know which is which, so it'll be a surprise for us both. Um, but let's go through the jewelry I picked up at yard sales first. Um, if you are interested in purchasing anything, you can email me at anotherchanceresale1 at gmail.com. I accept PayPal. Payment is due upon receipt of the invoice. No exceptions. Immediate payment. Um, first come, first pay, or I move on to the next person. Please check the sold list that'll be pinned in the comments before emailing. And shipping for jewelry is $5 flat under one pound within the United States and outside the U.S. or um, over one pound is based on your location and the weight. So um, I think that's everything, but if I think of anything else, but I'll also be repeating this information throughout the video. And I just want to make sure this isn't broken because I'm not selling you guys something broken. All right, this might be start the video off strong, right? I don't, I'll wait. No, I don't think this is working. So, yeah, I might have to get my husband to uh, finagle that one. Okay, so first piece we're going to pass on. <laughs> so we have a brooch. Um, this is wood, I believe, with a glaze over it and a little cloisonne style bird in the center. And it's a little dirty, but we can get it cleaned up. And we can do five dollars on this little lady, this or little bird, little boy bird, since he's blue. I picked this up because I thought it was just so cool. Let's see if I can get it up untangled here. Oh my gosh! So this is super cool. Um, I don't even know what this is made out of. Probably some type of lucite. I don't think it would be um, Bakelite because it is very lightweight. But maybe we should check it out. I don't have a Q-tip here. So what we're going to do is we're going to use a handy dandy piece of cotton and some semi-chrome and see if it's big light. No, okay, that's fine. All right, so that is probably just a lucite or acrylic, I would think more lucite. It is a necklace and it is like a mustard yellow and green and it goes down to this pendant here. It's very lightweight. So let's get a measury. I did remember my measuring tape for the video. Woohoo! <clears throat> and it is uh, 15 inches wearable length to this Y right here to where it splits. So then it's another four inches, but 15 inch wearable length um, pop it over your head because there is no clasp. I just thought it was very unique. So we're going to do $10 on this one. You know me and my unique pieces, right guys? So here we have a copper bracelet. I thought this was pretty cool too. There's no marks on it, but it's got a um, flower design. And it has two different um, size. Oh wait, no, it's just one. Can this fit? No, so it's just one right here. So let's see what that measurement would be. 
oops. So it's a seven inch um, circumference. And it's got a, like a little bit of scratching, but it's really nothing serious. I think it's in really good condition. And we're gonna do eight on this one. <clears throat> I got two chains. Because you know, chains are very in right now layering they are two different lengths i know you can't see it in the picture in the frame but i will show you and they are monet both of them and that's the size difference so one is the longest one is 17 inch wearable length the shorter one is 14 inch wearable length a nice thick you know substantial substantial weight here not too crazy but in really super nice condition with the fold over clasp and I'm going to do um, 12 on the long one and 10 on the short one um, but if you buy both I'll do them both for 20 so I'll take two dollars off <clears throat> Then we have this guy. So this one I thought was cool because it's got some tiger eye beads. And it's super long and it's double strand. That's actually not super long, but it's pretty long. I don't think, no, there's no maker mark, but it's got a cool tiger eye on the bottom of the extender. It's got a really long extender and it's two um, strand and it's at the longest length now and that measures 18 inch wearable length and it can go shorter probably a good five or six inches shorter so I think that's really cool this has got a nice weight to it as well so let's do um, Let's do 14 on this one. This is really nice with all this tiger eye. Really nice. Okay. Then we got this guy. So let's take a look at this clasp. All right. Just checking it for maker marks, nothing. So this one has got these really cool like, well, this one's upside down, so it's, oh no, here, here we go. It's like a um, lion, I guess. I think that's pretty cool. They're just plastic, but really nice condition. Black plastic beads, gold tone, the clear, look at how, the shape of those, so cool. Um, and this wearable length, is 14 inches and we're going to do 10 on this one super cool then we have this really cool brooch let me just read it it says copper craft guild 1974 million dollar telethon so it's a brooch and it's a um what do they call these type of phones oh geez i just knew that and it just escaped me they're not they're not skeleton phones right no i forget you guys can put it in the comments i forget what kind of telephone this is called but it's super cool i know like that's the rotary but there's a specific name for like that type of um like receiver i guess Anyway, um, it's a really cool brooch. And it doesn't come off or anything, it just has the chain. But I think it's really cool, and we're going to do 10 on this guy, because he's super unique. $10. So make sure you guys are checking the sold list pinned in the comments before you email me. My email is anotherchanceresale1 at gmail.com. And I know I've been slacking on the videos lately, 
Um, I set up my second antique booth last week. Uh, so I'm still trying to, you know, I'm still filling it. I'm still adding to it. Um, all weekend I was, you know, back and forth bringing stuff there, buying stuff, you know, pricing stuff. Um, so, and then they were closed Sunday and Monday. So I'll be there again today, um, adding more stuff. So it's just been very busy the past week, but this week I plan on getting a lot of videos out for you guys, maybe even two in one day. So that will be fun. So this is a really long gold tone necklace with these little black rhinestone little dangles. So we have some gold tone ones, and then we have two different kind of black satellites. We have a faceted salad, and then we have this kind of like moonstone or cat eye rather, black with the gray center, which is cool. And it does have a clasp so you can double it. You can probably even triple it because you can double it without even unclasping it because it sits at a 29 inch wearable length. So I think that is really cool, very classic. And we'll do eight on this one. And then for all you Alonga Burger lovers, I have this really cool basket brooch by Longa Burger. Hold on, let me clasp it so I don't get hurt. There we go. And we're gonna do 10 on that because it's, uh, it's collectible. Okay. All right, so that wraps up the first portion of the video. Now let's get into the um, shopgoodwill.com lot. <coughs> Excuse me. I do not know which lot this is. Like I said, I got uh, like two or three of them. So I just picked a box and we're gonna do it. I also want to do a live jewelry auction this week. Um, I'm really so nervous about doing lives. Oops, I just dumped it all into the box. So look, it, there's all these peanuts. I'm trying not to get them everywhere. I, um, but I, the bag was open and I just dumped it all over. Okay, so what am I gonna do with these peanuts? Let's put them, I usually like to save them, but see how the, it just dumped, all the jewelry dumped out. Um, I really wanna try to get over my fear of going live. So I'm going to do a live jewelry sale this week. I'm not sure what day, it might even be today. Um, but I have a lot of nice jewelry I want to show you guys and I want to auction off. Um, I got two jewelry lots from this Facebook jewelry auction that I always go to. It's a live jewelry auction and she always has really nice stuff. So I won two lots. So I want to share that with you guys and auction that off. I, I do pay up for her stuff, so that's why I want to auction it instead of just selling it at a certain price. Um, okay, so this is the Nature Slash Unique Jewelry Grab Bag. Um, it doesn't say the weight or anything, but as you can see, it's pretty small. And I paid about $30 out the door. So I guess let's just dump it all out since the bag was open. All done. And move everybody over and let's just look at this right here because they're two matching right here. These are black hoop earrings. So we can just do three on those. Let's look at what this big thing was. Okay, so this is, it looks like leather, maybe faux leather, maybe real. Actually, it's probably real. It's a clip, hair clip. It's not on there very well, but it's there. <laughs> and pierced earrings. I think the earrings are cool. So we'll do three on this clip, and we'll do um, five on the earrings. I think the earrings are really cool. Very boho. 
Very boho. All right, let's look at this. So make sure you guys are subscribed. Make sure you click that red button there and make sure you click the bell next to it to all. So then you'll get a notification when I go live. So I will try, if I decide to go live today, I'll do a reminder, like I'll set the date and time. So then you guys will get a, um, a 30 minute reminder if you're subscribed and you um, have the bell clicked to all. Okay, so this is just a plastic black faceted beaded necklace with a ribbon. I mean, it's not in bad condition, so that's fine. Um, I'm sure you can tie this at any length to make the necklace any length. So uh, let's just do five on it. Um, let's keep the stuff in the bags for last. And let's go through some other things like this. I don't really see how this is nature related, I guess because it's a flower. I don't know, it's kind of weird. But I think all those are missing in there, right? All the center stones? Or are they supposed to be like that? Nope, I think they're missing. Okay, so this is going to go into craft. So all my craft items are $1. I make a craft lot with all my items like that and sell it on in my eBay store. So nothing really goes to waste from these lots, um, except if it's like super, um, like full of verdigris or rust or something like really gross. But this is cute. This is, these feel like ceramic beads, a little toggle bracelet. Let's see if this is, it is not magnetic. So maybe we have some sterling here. Let's test it really quickly. No, not sterling, which is fine. And I'll get you guys a measurement, but it's a really pretty, um, all different color with like a nice glaze. It's a seven and a half wearable length and uh, we'll do five on that. All right, what's going on here? Uh, <laughs> Are you one necklace or two? I think we have two. Yep, okay. So this one is silver tone. It is fairly long. And then we have a bunch of charms at the end. So we have an owl that's gold tone. We have the Eiffel Tower that's like a gunmetal almost. Some cute little colorful beads and then a gold tone leaf. All right, so let's get a measurement of the wearable length is 15 inches to the pendant, pendants I should say. And let's do seven on this one. So let's look at what came out of that because that was also an owl. We have a silver tone with an extender. All right, he's cool. So he's got all these little feathers with black faceted eyes and he is also 15 inch wearable length and we'll do six on him okay this is a hematite necklace uh, with graduated size beads and a barrel clasp so this one has a wearable length of seven and a half inches Let's do six on that one. This looks like it could be sterling. It is quite tiny. So we have either, let's do it this way. Six inch length to an eight inch length. Nope, it is not sterling. 
Um, so let's just do four on it. It's got these really pretty blue beads. Okay, let's do this one first. This is silver tone. We have <clears throat> stars and these oval um, pieces with striped beads, white, black. This one's a little tangled, there we go. So this is a fun necklace. And a wearable length of 17 inches. We'll just do five on that one. Oh my gosh, excuse me. That one snuck up on me. Next we have a silver tone butterfly necklace with some different color um, faux abalone and a fold over clasp. Very excellent condition. It measures seven inches and we'll do five on that. Here is a cute little uh, silver tone chain necklace with red, a red flower. It's just plastic. And, um, and there's a wearable length of eight inches, but it can be extended longer. So we will do um, four on this one. Really cute. All right, so we have some fairy dust. I know, I don't know. <laughs> it's blue glitter and a, it's in a plastic bottle. It's not even glass um, with a butterfly and a blue bead. And we have a wearable length of 12 inches. So we'll do four on this. Okay, so now let's do this guy. I should say girl. We have a little fairy, I guess. Oh, she's JJ. That's cool. So let's do 10 on the JJ brooch. Very nice. Then we have this guy. Oh, this is JJ too, no way. Look at him. I think we might have to do some research on him. So let's go on to eBay and search for JJ wizard brooch and see what comes up. Okay, so we have a lot for, th oh, see, so this guy is only selling for nine. Thirty, twenty. Let's look at the solds because that'll be really what counts. All right, so we got seventeen, twelve, fifteen, thirty-two, twenty, eleven, fifty. Okay, so I'm going to do twelve on this guy. He's in really good condition. That um, ball, it's like a little marble. Really cool. All his stones are in place on his hat. So I could probably ask for way more, but I'm just gonna do 12. Ay, because, you know, those comps weren't the greatest. Okay. These are, I'm trying to see, they kind of look like sterling, but I don't think so. So they go like that almost like a tree design with um, a little like amber colored disc on the back. I'm gonna do four on those. Oh, we have a cute little frog. He's just a little figurine. He's probably clay with a nice glaze on it. Um, we'll do five on him. He's cute. Oh wait, is he broken? Oh, he's got a little chip on his foot. So all right, I'll drop that to three. <laughs> oh wow, this stuff looks nice. 
So let's try not to get it tangled. So we have these really pretty earrings. Um, they are purple butterflies, little hoops. Really nice. Do five on those. All right, let's try not to get this. I think I may have made it worse. <laughs> Okay, we're getting one out here. There we go. So here's another purple butterfly, really cute, with maybe some marcasites in the center. Don't see a maker, but it's really nice. So, the uh, wearable length is nine inches. So let's do eight on that one. That's really pretty. I might have to unclasp these so they don't stay too tangled. Okay. This chain kind of looks like it would be sterling. It's a nice box chain. It says, what does that say? Oh, 18 karat gold plated. All right, so it's 18 karat white gold plated. And I think the charm, the pendant is just fashion, but that's really cool. And it comes with an extender but without the extender, it's an eight inch wearable length. So let's do um, 14 on this one, since it's eight white, 18 karat white gold plated. Really excellent condition. Make sure you guys are checking the sold list before you email me. It just helps with the amount of emails that I get and um, I accept PayPal payments due immediate upon receipt of the invoice um, or I go on to the next person and because people sometimes people don't um, refresh their screen because as they're watching the video I'm updating the sold list so they I still might get emails about things that I put in the sold list so I will get emails for the same item um, so make sure you are refreshing your screen and this one says something, but I don't know what it says. Let me find my loop. Uh, SU China. I don't know. But it's really pretty, and it's similar to that other one. But it has a purple butterfly. And let's see the length. There's no extender on this one, but it's a nine inch length. You know what, we can check those stones. Let's turn on Pressy really quick and put that to the side just to see if they're glass or plastic or what. Okay, then we have this one. That says LA. So this one is a little moon with a star and it, it is pave and around it, it says, I love you to the moon and back. That's really cute. I like that. So this does not have an extender either, but all these are in really good condition and it's a nine inch wearable length as well. So let's do eight on that one. All right, let's test this necklace quickly. Yeah, so we're just glass. This one doesn't even move, so it's probably just plastic or acrylic or something, but that's all right. 
So I think I said it was a nine inch wearable length. So, and then we're gonna do eight on this one as well. Whoever likes butterflies is really gonna like this lot, huh? Um, all right, let's get this untangled. So this one, you look like a butterfly as well with pave, a pave flower. Really cute. Again, excellent condition. We have a an extender, so the longest length is gonna be nine inches and you can make it shorter. This is 18 karat white gold plated as well. So um, let's do 12 on this one since it's a little, a little smaller of a pendant and everything than the other one. Then we have this. This looks kind of cool. Ugh, but not this tangle. <laughs> yeah. Oopsie ding dong. Okay, I think I got it. Oh, I think oh, I got it. Maybe not by the bail, but close enough. That's what I like about having this these fingers stiletto, because I could kind of just get into that little knot there and pull it apart. It's not really, it's getting there. There we go. All right, I don't wanna take all day on this because you guys are probably fast forwarding already. <laughs> um, let's see if this says anything. I don't see anything on the clasp. This looks older. It's still cute. It's got these little green. No, they look like they're just glass. Hold on. Yeah. And we have a, again, a nine inch length and we'll do um, six on this one. Okay, then last in that bag, but not last completely, we have this one, this chain is cool. Very good condition again, I don't see any maker's marks or anything and then that is really cool. Another butterfly purple, really, really pretty, excellent condition. The extender's on the smallest length and it's at eight inches, so it can probably go to nine. And we're gonna do um, 10 on this one. It's really cool. Okay, so last piece, oh, well, last baggie. Looks like there's a bunch of earrings. So make sure you guys are checking that sold list, refresh often. And um, my email is another chance resale one at gmail.com. And all my information is always in the uh, description box. Oh, we have a broken one. I can probably just attach the hook if we have it. So let's just put that to the side. We have a Capricorn little teeny brooch pin and do four on that. This is definitely a weird name for a lot. Uh, nature. <laughs> I guess it's nature with all the butterflies, but kind of weird to say that when there's other types of things. But these are cool. These are like a, a marcasite style um, rhinestones. <clears throat> they are leverbacks. And we can do four on those. Oh, these are pretty. Let me see if there's a maker. Don't see one. Nice dangles, gun, uh, gunmetal silver, and like a amber color and green and black. You can do four on those as well. We have some bar earrings with black, uh, black rhinestones and they are leverbacks. Do three on those. Those are really cute. 
nice and simple and classic. We have these little star hook earrings, star and moon. Eh, they're not really in the best of condition. This one has a lot of wear on the moon, so we're going to skip these. Put them in craft. <clears throat> Here's a moon tack pin. Let's see if the back says anything. I don't see it. So I'll just do two bucks. <clears throat> Excuse me. All right, what is this now? Okay, so here's the hook for... Oh, it's broken. Okay, so those are just going to go into craft. And then last but not least, make sure you guys are subscribed. Make sure you press that thumbs up. And we have this cute little gold tone bracelet with a star. And it ranges from... 7 inch to 8 inch, and we will do 4. So thank you guys so much for watching and spending time with me. Remember to click the thumbs up and subscribe, and I will see you in the next one.